Hello folks, today it's about a plugin which I have used very often lately. It's the Hornet LU meter. Maybe you can remember when I talked about the K-20 system in one of my latest tutorials. It was about the fact that I was leveling all my channels to minus 20 dB RMS. But since this can be a very boring and time-wasting process, I was looking for an easier solution. The plugin can now do all that automatically for me. The only thing I have to do is to load it onto a track and start the transport. I now have to wait until the plugin has analyzed the input and I can click stop. The channel is now leveled to my reference value. Quite simple. The reference value here is minus 23 LUFs, which is roughly equal to minus 20 dB RMS. Since the plugin only consumes CPU time when uh, measuring, it is quite resource saving most of the time. If there is no measurement going on, the plugin is nothing more than a regular volume controller. Although the plugin is very simple, it still has some functions to offer. For example, on the left side we have the gain section where the main purpose is to adjust the volume. We have an option to set the measurement. Uh, algorithm, an option to set an offset to the reference value and the max peak option to set how big our maximum volume peak can be. And of course a simple manual volume control. On the right side we now have the setting for the reference value that we can freely choose and a selectable color for the analyzer. In the middle we have the communication section where we can communicate with the other instances of the plugin. If we select the group here and do the same in another instance, these two instances can now communicate with each other. This is of course possible with more than two instances. You only have to add all plugins to the same group. With the two buttons gain and meter in the middle, we can choose to send which values to exchange. Only the left or the right section or both. Is everything in one group, we can alter values from one plugin window and send the changes to the remaining ones. If everything worked out, you should now have a balanced mix down where you can add your own taste. It is important to note that you have of course set each channel fader to 0 dB. This gives you the possibility to weight the channel strips individually according to your taste. The channel fader is now an offset to your reference value. I can only recommend you to try out the plugin once. It costs very little money, it is very useful, at least for me, and you have a money back guarantee. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say about this plugin for now. Um, thank you very much for watching this video, and I would be happy about the thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you, and bye.